Hey guys, this is Becky Page and I am one of your Diamond Uplines. I wanted to get on this team page today and talk to you guys a little bit about something called the gut brain access. Um, if you got to hear Rachel Neagle's live yesterday in which she talked about inflammation and specifically how ease was created and what it's intended to do. If you haven't listened to that yet, I really encourage you to immediately following this, go listen to that because ironically, there's a lot of what she shared that's gonna overlap with what I wanna share with you guys today. So first of all, I just wanna let you know, um, just a disclaimer that what I'm sharing is not meant to treat. Um, I'm not attempting to diagnose you with any sort of mood disorder. I'm not claiming to be able to treat it. I am still, a licensed professional counselor and supervisor in the state of Texas. And that just gives you the background for why I'm really passionate about what I wanna talk with you guys about today. So briefly, because there's plenty of information on the internet, but briefly, we're gonna talk about something called the gut-brain axis. <clears throat> what that is specifically is in your body, you have a really thick bundle of nerves uh, traveling down a main nerve from literally the back of your um, the back of your brain, your brain stem, all the way down into your digestive tract, your gut. It's called the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve acts as a bio-directional highway. Imagine like a super highway with two lanes. One travels from your gut up to your brain, the other travels from your brain down to your gut, and there are constantly signals there. I don't know if you guys know, but your gut actually has uh, more nerves than your entire spinal column. And that's incredible. So the truth of the matter is, is that you've got your brain and then often your gut is referred to as the second brain. So there's constant communication between your brain and your gut. It's one of the reasons why we're so passionate about gut health and it's a huge reason why um, Plexus has begun to really create products that work synergistically, meaning they work together holistically to help give you a healthy gut. Just as an aside, you should also know that there's also something called the gut-brain-liver axis, and that means that your brain, your intestines, and your liver are also always talking to each other. So this speaks into why blood sugar balance is so crucial for overall body health, why it's about more than just uh, diabetes. It connects to all sorts of diseases. Okay, so I want to talk to you a little bit about something called leaky gut. Rachel mentioned it yesterday. A really, really simple explanation is I want you to imagine like a chain linked fence, okay? Your gut is meant to be a very tightly, it, the walls of your intestines should be very tightly packed. You want to have really good mucus level there because what those things do is they allow you to absorb nutrients and your intestines function properly. Your intestines, your colon, um, it all functions together. When you have a healthy gut, it means your body can absorb food and nutrients well and they can also pass what's not needed out of your body and pass it out as waste. However, due to the current American diet, um, which includes everything from refined sugars to high processed foods to lots of meat, very little vegetable diversity. What happens is we begin, and, and also of course the use of antibiotics, not only in, in Western medicine, but even in, in the Western diet and in the food that our country produces. What happens is you've got basically pockets begin to develop in your gut and you get that idea of the chain link fence. And like Rachel spoke about yesterday, then you've got these antibodies and these proteins that are attacking and going into the, to the um, intestinal wall and your body begins to, because of inflammation, kind of attack itself. That's the whole idea behind an autoimmune disease. So it's influenced by toxic overloads that we have in our environment, whether it becomes to like heavy metals in your water, like we said, the diet, but definitely stress and inflammation in the body. And in as much as you can have symptoms of leaky gut, you can also have symptoms of what we call leaky brain. We're still researching and finding out so much about why a huge percentage of our population struggles with depression, anxiety, and other mental health disorders. But one thing we know is that sugar is definitely a risk factor for breaking down the blood-brain barrier, which means that your brain cells aren't functioning properly. And leaky gut can definitely influence leaky brain. 
You need to also know that anxiety and depression have been linked to lower levels of certain bacterial strains in your gut. We call them the microbiota or the microbes. So you've got these healthy bugs that we're born with and you want to have a good diversity of bacterial strains in your gut and you definitely don't want to have an overgrowth of negative strains that would cause issues like candida yeast overgrowth. Candida yeast overgrowth is often found with people who struggle with depression and anxiety. Um, there's two strains that are linked to lower levels, of, meaning if we, you don't have high strains of both Lactobacillus helveticus and Bifidobacterium longum, those are two strains that low levels are often found in folks who deal with depression and anxiety. By the way, they're both found in vital biome, which is why vital biome has all these great clinical trials behind it and studies behind it to show that these strains are important. But here's something I wanna talk about first. Before I put people on vital biome, I really like to put them on ProBio5, partially because I want to see um, those digestive en enzymes and those antifungals put into place to attack and begin to clean out the gut. The, to start healing the gut, you really have to start with getting rid of the yeast overgrowth because until that's dealt with, then even if someone begins to take vital biome immediately, they won't be able, you won't see the positive bacteria begin to grow. By the way, there's a um, pinned video on this team page that Rachel did where she talked about the benefits of triplex and she mentions the importance of weeding the gut. That's what I'm talking about right now. We want to see folks getting on Slim and ProBio5 and BioCleanse um, initially so that they be can begin to clean out that um, small and large intestine and their colon. And that detoxification process is important. Slim specifically helps with mucus lining in the gut. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> We're gonna talk about mucus. That's crucial to begin to heal that gut, to begin to tighten up the gut wall, to get rid of leaky gut, which by the way will of course influence leaky brain. So I never ever wanna see someone just getting off their mental health meds just because they hate them. Like, oh, I just started Plexus, I'm gonna stop taking my SSRI. No, 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 we don't recommend that at all. What we do recommend is naturally working on healing your gut. Now, Plexus is not magic. These aren't magic pills that are suddenly gonna, you know, make, boom, make everything better. You've got to think about what you're doing in your lifestyle that could be contributing to these issues as well. So let me go back. You need to go and listen to the talk about Triplex. It's pinned on this team page. You wanna start someone slowly on these products and begin to heal their gut so that they can initially begin to also start healing their brain. And then there's some lifestyle decisions that are really important to also help with the brain gut access or that two directional highway that your brain and your gut um, communicate on. One of the first things, and I really encourage people when you, when you first start taking Slim specifically, most people notice that their sugar cravings pretty immediately start to change. I remember for me the very first month thinking, uh, I didn't want coffee and if I wanted it, I wanted it black. And I was always someone who loved the sugary, creamy coffee stuff. So you'll notice your cravings start to change. It's important to take advantage of that time and to really cut back, if not completely cut away, the refined sugars and processed foods. We like to say, if you're eating a food that has an advertisement, you're not eating a good whole food. So really try to focus on eating whole foods and getting enough fibers from vegetables, leafy vegetables, back into your diet. Number two, and I used to tell this all the time to clients, um, I practiced therapy for over a decade, and one of the things that I wish I could have done for every single person I ever treated who had depression was to get them to manage their stress levels. Sleep, regular sleep habits are huge. A regular, preferably earlier bedtime is huge so that you can bank as many hours possible to exercise. If I could have gotten every single client to exercise, it would have been amazing. Exercise allows dopamine boosters to start triggering in your brain and that fights uh, mood imbalances in a way that is unparalleled to any medication out there, okay? So exercise is huge. Manage stress and exercise. Also, cutting back on alcohol. 
Um, alcohol is going to definitely contribute to not only your glucose levels rising because of the sugars and alcohol, but also your liver function. So give your body a little break. You know, I love, look, my husband just hopped on high rest. He knows how much I love a good glass of red wine. But during the season where you're really trying to heal your gut, it is so important to cut back on alcohol. Love yourself well by cutting back on alcohol. And then the fourth is definitely what I mentioned earlier, cleaning your gut. Plexus has made incredible products. Now, one thing I wanna say, supplements <clears throat> are different from a prescription. When you take a prescription, it has an immediate effect on your physiology, okay? There's an immediate change in your brain chemistry and your body chemistry. When you take a supplement, especially plant-based supplements like Plexus offers, you need to give it time. A supplement is a softer response. It's a more holistic response. It only has about a 30% degree change in your body's physiology. So be consistent. Taking your products daily is key. And then take, setting your expectations that you're not gonna see immediate changes in a week. You need to give this a good 90 days. So if you're a new wholesale ambassador, I encourage you, set that convenience order, that's your subscription. You do not want, out of, want to run out of product. And if you don't take it every day, you're not gonna see the benefits like we want you to. So this is an amazing, more affordable, more natural way to change both your gut and your brain function but you've gotta be consistent. And that's what we're here to help you with. So thanks for listening, you guys. Love to answer any questions if possible. If you have them, um, ask in the comments. And I would encourage you to go do some of your own research about the gut-brain access and specifically the microbiome, the gut microbiome, meaning your bacterial home that is there in your gut. You'll find a ton of information and you'll see why Plexus is so excited about our guts. I hope you have a great day.